Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech, travel and inspiration. I am out traveling right now and I am in Vienna after some really nice sightseeing in Salzburg and before that one huge dance camp in Brussels. I am packing up right now and I'm gonna head to Berlin for a few days of dancing and hanging out with friends. I always had a little bit of a hard time with Berlin but uh, I'm giving it more and more chances and we'll see how it treats me this time around. In this video I wanted to talk to you about the issues that I've had with the sleep mode and I know that probably everyone that bought this computer had the same issues. It is the problem that makes the computer not properly go to sleep when you're closing it and it's supposed to get into sleep mode. I have a few different example videos that I shot over the last few months where I just took the computer out of my bag and it's really warm. You touch it on the bottom part and it's like super warm. So the fans have been running, some components have for sure still been running and uh, it's not going to sleep like any other computer would. As opposed to other problems that has been with the fan noise and uh, the fans start running immediately when you turn the computer on, this problem doesn't seem to have been resolved so far. I have installed the latest BIOS update and this issue is very much still a thing. There's been a few people that have written potential solutions about turning off the Windows 10 mode that is called connected sleep. And you can do this by altering some registry keys. I have tried to do this, but I haven't been able to get it to work. Some people have also suggested this might be because I have my wireless mouse connected to the computer when I close the lid. I have tested this quite extensively and it doesn't make a difference. This issue is whether I'm connected with a Bluetooth mouse or not. So the only solution I found to the problem is switching from sleep mode to hibernate mode when you're closing the lid of the computer. This makes the startup of the computer when you open it a little bit slower but I think this is still fine. I don't want that issue. I don't want the computer running super hot while in my bag. And I'm afraid that it would hurt the components of the laptop if that keeps happening several times every week. Because you obviously close your computer when it's turned on a lot. It's extremely seldom that I open my computer just to do something for a few seconds. So a few seconds of longer starting time is really not going to make a difference for me personally. Also, it's a big problem that the battery seems to deplete when the sleep mode is activated. When you close it up and then you open it a few hours later, there's still been stuff running in the computer. So the battery is significantly lower than when you close the computer. If you also want to switch your computer from sleep to hibernate mode, this is how you do it. In Windows 10, there are these handy dandy shortcuts that you can just type into the search bar. So if you open the search bar and then you just search for close, immediately it will show up, change what closing the lid does. If you haven't changed anything in your laptop from before, this is probably what it looks like. When you press the power button, it goes to sleep. When you press the sleep button, it goes to sleep. There is no sleep button, so that's not a big thing. And when you close the lid, it also goes to sleep. The thing you want to do here is that you want to change what happens when you close the lid. And you want to set that into hibernate instead. I do it on both plugged in and on battery for the simple reason that sometimes I close the lid and then I take the charger out and then I put the computer in my bag. If it's then in sleep mode, the problems would still be there. You then just save your changes and then you're good to go. If you have other recommendations for custom solutions around this issue, please post them in the comments below because that could really help people to make as much as possible out of this seemingly yet unsolved issue. I'm personally pretty okay with having hibernate mode set instead of sleep, so I'm gonna stick with this solution, but uh, please feel free to browse for other solutions to the problem and make the computer work as well as possible for you and your needs. I'm W2Best, I make videos about tech, travel and inspiration. I will see you in the next video, which will probably be in Berlin. Have a really nice day, bye bye.